we've accomplished an ability to take any patient's cell and grow their own intestine. Uh, from growing their own intestine, we can then understand how that intestine works the same or differently than other patients. This basically is um, a picture of human intestine, all grown from a single cell taken from a single patient. The more we can understand human tissue, which is not the same as animal tissue, the more we can understand human diseases. And today is one step forward to understanding how human intestinal diseases occur. The congenital diseases that we see in our clinic with kids with intestinal failure are an obvious first choice, but anything that leads to the function or the problem with the intestine can be studied, uh, ranging from Crohn's disease to ultimately cancers of the intestine. Importantly, also the function of the intestine as it relates to digestion of specific um, food compounds, as well as medications. Uh, can be studied in a patient-specific manner, which are going to have wide implications. The ability to regrow an organ is possible. It gives us uh, hope that this is actually a regenerative medicine approach that will benefit humans uh, in the future. Specific diseases like cystic fibrosis, looking at the intestinal stem cells in humans that we don't currently know enough about, that we can now use this to learn more about. Looking at specific infectious diseases that occur in humans that don't occur in animal models so we can learn better ways of understanding treatment and avoiding those complications which affect a large number of people around the world. This project not only amazed us when we started doing it, but it continues to amaze us as we evolve because it's so impressive how the cells themselves know how to do this. And that all you have to do is provide the right environment and the right conditioning for these cells and they will take over from there. It totally changes the outcome and it totally gives us hope that some of the more complex problems that haven't been dealt with now will be dealt with and we certainly do believe we're going to improve the care that these children get because of this.